Hi, this is Dr. Touch. Today I want to demonstrate DT about the view controller, uh, which is meant to solve two problems we've having have been having as developers. Namely, uh, that each of our apps needs to have sort of uh, an about page, and uh, if if the app has many users, uh, you want also to have sort of an an in-app support scheme with some frequently asked questions, and the company. Uh, whose apps I was using as an inspiration for uh, was Tabbots. So a shout out goes to those guys. Uh, I'm absolutely amazed about the painstaking uh, construction of details you've put into your apps. Uh, uh, and rest, rest assured, I'm not going to copy you uh, as there, there is some fears, uh, but just use what, what you have as an inspiration and kind of the, the basic requirements. So what what would I need to uh, be able to do uh, to uh, call this an about DT about your controller? Now I have this uh, p list here. This defines a structure that I want to have. Um, so I, I want to have a kind of uh, custom views that I can can attach, like for example, an image image to. I want to have buttons. Uh, I want to be able to open a, a review in iTunes, and you see. In this structure, I can define uh, multiple items, and my about view controller uh, will then parse that, or actually not not just not parse it, but uh, construct on screen how this is supposed to be looking. Um, I also want to to show you what Mark Jardin, one of the designers of Tepos, wrote. Yeah, uh, they are uh, afraid that I'm going to totally rip off their design. Uh, as I said, I'm not going to do that. It's just uh, basically I'm use, uh, reusing your artwork to get the technical stuff uh, done. And once I'm I'm finished with this, I'm, I'm completely remove all traces of of tabbots and will be uh, having my my own artwork and uh, probably uh, also different kind of uh, structuring all of that. There there's some uh, design decisions you made that I would make different. Um, now let me show you uh, the result. To not talk all the time, uh, what what Mark Chardin was uh, referring to is this su support page that I'm doing here. So you see, I just uh, reused the uh, frequently asked questions file, but of course I will do my own here and probably have different buttons and everything. Uh, but the general idea is to have uh, questions that. Uh, would answer the majority of problems people have and if you tap on it um, you get a, a nice full screen view where you can uh, switch between the questions um, and uh, this these questions would uh, also be able to be updated uh, from the server and probably be localized uh, tapbots isn't yet localizing those i plan to do it um, about the about view uh, again there's lots of uh, uh, tap bots uh, copyrighted artwork in here so I'm only using that to play around and get the, the, the feel for what I need to be able to do uh, that that will all go so when I sell the app there will be nothing of tap bots inside in here so you you can have a, a big image at the uh, uh, at the uh, start uh, you can have uh, uh, action sheets that pop up like for example a feature request uh, where it would f fill in the version number and the name of the app you're referring to and the uh, two already filled in um, the same for if you need help yeah uh, it feels like there's there's more there if you have multiple options instead just uh, opening an email right away um, a review in iTunes is one variant uh, to have a button going to the review page in iTunes. The other th uh, stuff you often see is that people asked actively. It's the choice of, of the uh, developer to do that. Um, uh, in this case, uh, that's how uh, Tabbots is doing it. And so I wanted to be able to do that in my framework as well. Uh, contact, follow and Twitter. That's the smart way where if you have a supporting Twitter client installed, it will open it on the uh, user's profile page. Um, I can show this on, on the uh, simulator. You can go to a website which opens uh, a URL for um, 
whatever you want um, and tell a friend again sends an email um, there you could send the, the uh, app store link as well for that uh, and another thing that I very much liked in the um, about page is this uh, scroller yeah um, again all of that uh, I, I will have my own looks and, and stuff but the general idea to advertise for your apps are, there can't be anything wrong about um, and yeah that's that's a, a way uh, you can uh, customize uh, to show uh, whether an, an app is already installed uh, which you can find out by using the URL scheme of, of the app uh, if it's uh, can can open URL is true for for example if I had a URL scheme iWoman colon and if this is true then I know it's installed and it wouldn't be clickable but in all other cases uh, these are active buttons that would now open the um, iTunes App Store. Now that's it for my demonstration. Again, shout out to Mark Jordan. You have done amazing work and I'm not going to copy it. Uh, it will all be original, but I'm uh, just using your stuff as kind of inspiration because you have done it. You, you made it uh, like every app should have an about and support. Uh, and well, I'm planning for my apps. Uh, to emulate your uh, kind of big uh, uh, what what you put put ahead of me yeah I'm not a designer I'm just a programmer okay um, that's it uh, I hope you enjoyed my demonstration uh, buy all the apps from tabbots because they're simply amazing uh, there's there's lots of little things in there uh, and lots of things that even I can do yeah um, but well, that's it for today. Bye-bye.